Hello and welcome back to Bits and Bobs. Today's video is all about the 2017 Peter Rabbit 50 pence coin. Slightly different coin to usual. Firstly, I will talk to you about the design of the coin and then move on to the facts and figures. So here is the reverse design and was done by Emma Noble. And we see here a portrait of Peter Rabbit. And this image has been taken directly from the old books of Peter's Potter books, the books that of course feature Peter Rabbit and all of his adventures. And we can see behind his rear um, paw, the letters TM for like trademark. There's a trademark of the Beatrice Potter books, that design there. Around him though are the words, The Tale of Peter Rabbit, which is sort of the book title, The Tale of Peter Rabbit, and then all of his friends and him go on the adventures in the book. There's a cool design as part of a four coin set that was released that year, featuring Peter Rabbit, Jeremy Fisher, the very common Benjamin Bunny, and lastly, Tom Kitten making that set. That was the second year they did that, and they carried on for a few years after 2016, 2017 and 2018, and then some NIFCs. Here we see the obverse, and as I said, this is a 2017 coin, as we can see at the top. The main feature of the obverse, of course, being the portrait of Queen Elizabeth II. This is the fifth and final portrait of her used on circulating coins, and was done by Jodie Clark. The initials JC for Jodie Clark can be seen below the Queen's neck. Around her is the legend in Latin reading Elizabeth II DG Reg FD 50 pence 2017. This then translates to Elizabeth II by the grace of God, Queen, Defender of the Faith, and then the 50 pence is the denomination of the coin, the value, and 2017, as I said, the date it was struck. There's no milling on this coin on either side, and the rim is plain, as due to the shape it will be obvious if the coin has been clipped. Now then, moving on to the facts and figures of the 2017 Peter Rabbit 50p coin. This coin was minted at the Clantricent Mint in Wales, where the Royal Mint has been based ever since decimalisation in the early 70s. The coin is composed of a cupro-nickel alloy, which is made of 75% copper and 25% nickel, a commonly used alloy for silver-looking coins that aren't actually silver. The weight of the coin is 8 grams, ever since 1997 when it was resized and downsized to a new weight of 8 grams, and a new diameter was downsized to them from the original one, from originally over 30 millimeters to now 27.5 millimeters. But still a big coin, and a big mintage for this coin of 19,900,000 of these Peter Abbott coins made, as one of the sort of top 5 most common commemorative 50p's. A 50 pence coin is of course worth 50 pence, and this is then one half of a pound sterling in the new decimal currency system. Of course, this is a decimal coin rather than a pre-decimal coin. In 2017, when the coin was originally released, 50 pence could buy you 67 pence worth of stuff today. So even in the short time since its release, the coin has of course been vulnerable to inflation and has lost some of its value. However, the coin of course is still legal tender, can still very much so be spent in shops today. So what is the value of the coin though if you weren't gonna spend it and wanna try and sell it or would like to buy it? Well, in poor condition, even to extremely fine condition, pretty much any condition of the coin, it's only worth 50 pence. Just because it's so common and so easy to find in your change, there's no reason for anyone to pay over the odds for it. If you do find one though in uncirculated condition and just such a beautiful condition, you may be able to get like a pound out of it, but not much. So this is a cool coin that isn't just worth a lot of money or anything like that. It's just a fun coin to find in your change, something different to add to your collection perhaps, or just have a nice different coin in your change. Please do comment down below if you collect 50 pence coins, and please do subscribe as well. Thank you very much for watching to the end of the video, that means a lot to the channel, and hopefully you will join us again soon for some more coins on Bits and Bobs channel. Bye!